Everybody, and welcome back to our Back to Basics series here on Farming Simulator 19. Today we're going to talk about making silage in bulk or making it inside of one of these concrete silage bunkers. We're going to look at various different shapes, sizes, and configurations. I've got a small uh, placeable one here. We go over here to the BGA. You're going to see that the BGA has much larger ones. And there's a reason why we're really not doing this down here at the BGA. One, closest field here is six. That's still a fair bit of a drive from the BGA and not for this demonstration. Two, these bunkers are massive and would take a whole lot, like millions of liters worth of product to truly fill so what I'm going to do is we're going to go over here and basically make use of this smaller one, which we shouldn't have too much trouble getting full or getting real close to being full in this particular video demonstration. And what we're going to do is we're going to make chaff out of either grass or corn. I've got grass here in part of our test field and corn in the rest of our test field. And we're going to go through various ways of basically harvesting our grass and <laughs> putting it into putting it into our silage bunker. So let's take a look at some of the equipment that we've got lined up here. So we've got once again our New Holland forage harvester. Uh, we used this in the Poplar video. Uh, we have a new front head attachment for it here. This is a pickup attachment. Uh, so we use this to pick up loose grass that's on the ground. Then we have a Joskins trailer. We're going to use this trailer to haul our grass or chaff into the bunker. We have another New Holland header. This one is actually a mowing header, so we're going to demonstrate using that. Then we have a third New Holland header. This, this beastly attachment is for corn. And then we have a smaller one that is really set up for a small starting farmer uh, that goes actually on the front of a tractor and then shoots into a trailer that is pulled by the tractor. And that is all how we get the chaff out of the field. Once we get the chaff out of the field, we have two different leveler options here. We've got rollers or we have blades. Uh, in order to basically compact and level the chaff. Now I have to say, when I first started playing Farm Sim 17, the idea of putting chaff in one of these things, leveling it, compacting it, and blanketing it with plastic was a bit daunting. So I kind of avoided that for quite a while. In fact, if you want a little bit of a, of a funny rip down memory lane uh, for me, if you look at my channel, you look at my playlists, I still have the very first Let's Play that I did in Farm Sim 17 on a map called Serenity Valley. And my good friend Rockhound Mods. In fact, that is how I met Rockhound was I reached out to him, told him I wanted to do a Let's Play on his map. and uh, But I wanted to make some edits. I wanted to delete silage bunkers out of, out of the... Uh, I wanted to delete them out of the map because I didn't want to use them. We're going to mow the grass here, but uh, instead of using a pull behind mower or one that attaches to a three point, we're going to use the big M prone mower. And we're going to set it to a windrow, cloth drop. And that's simply because it's going to be faster. This thing mows a huge, huge path of destruction behind it. It's going to mow one strip. Then we're going to come back with our forage harvester and use the mowing header to mow some more grass.
Now that we have ourselves some grass wind road, we're going to get into our forage harvester. Connect to our pickup header. We're going to unfold the pickup. Do a pipe out option on the forge harvester. And let me check something real quick. Sometimes these forage harvesters will let you pull a trailer. Other times they won't. So that one doesn't work. By this little trailer here. All right, kitty, that'll work. Not ideal, but sometimes this is optimal because I don't think we can actually hire a helper with this grass pickup. We're going to try, but I don't think we can do it. I'm going to turn it on, and we're basically shooting grass in there. I'm going to hit H and see what happens. Yeah, I didn't think you can hire a helper if you are using the forage harvester to collect grass. It's already been mowed. So that's one way to pick up grass. Another way to pick up grass would be to use a tractor and a loading wagon. You just so happen to have a loading wagon here. Hay in it. So we can only put grass or chaff into our silage bunkers. So I can't put hay in there. It's just not moist enough. I don't understand the science behind it, but basically we need to put a moist product into the bunker and hay is too dry you pick up grass like this if we wanted to Then we need to put this into our silage bunker. The way we do that is just pull up to the bunker. We want to make sure we are in the bunker. And you notice we, we don't get the I to unload option. We have to do control I. And what we want to do is we just want to slowly drive forward, kind of spread it out. And you'll see in the F1 menu it says we have 5,900 liters of chaff. And then it has compacting and a percent. The way we compact chaff is, well, we basically drive over it. It kind of deforms and works its way down and the percentages will go up. The more chaff you have in here, before you start compacting, the more, the longer it's gonna to take to compact, okay? So in theory, you would just keep driving back and forth on this until it was to 100%. So, now it's at 100%. And if we wanted to, we could hit R. We're not going to. If we wanted to, we could hit R right now and cover it with a white tarp, white piece of plastic. We're not going to do that. Don't cover it until you're ready to basically make silage.
unload of this trailer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drop this pickup header. I want to demonstrate the mower header now. I don't know. We're going to see if I can hire a helper on this or not. Lower their header down. Turn it on. And let's see, can I hire a helper? Okay, I can. All right, so I could run beside this with a tractor, just like we did when we were doing our poplar. If I wanted to. So basically, this is mowing a pretty nice width of grass and shooting it into our trailer. If we were running shotgun beside this with another tractor, then it would just shoot it into that other trailer. And of course, you can mow any grass you want on land that you own, okay? We're outside of the field at this point. If you try to mow grass on land that you do not own, you're going to get a message. If you don't own this land, because you don't have access to this land, we're not able to mow the grass. Get back to land that we do own. We're able to then mow that. Okay. We can mow any grass on any land that we own. It doesn't have to be on a field. Put in there. It's probably best I not try that. Let's drop this off. See the pipe is trying to auto aim onto any trailer that it finds in range. Now let's get set up to do some corn chaffing. That we're going to use this header here. Before we do that, let's dump our grass trailer. Because our grass trailer is going to be in the way later. Now you may notice that when we start to dump our grass, that it changes color. You see what color the grass is compared to what's been put into the bunker. That is because as soon as it hits the bunker, it turns into a different fill type called chaff. We're no longer putting, no longer have grass in the bunker. We have chaff in the bunker. Move this out of the way. And now we're going to use this Massey Ferguson with this front forager. You need a tractor with a front three point connection. 
need a trailer. See if it can shoot into this big trailer. And usually these big trailers have the way of lowering like this little front door with the mouse button. This trailer also has the ability to raise and lower the sides with the mouse button, which is pretty cool. So if we turn over to our header and we do a pipe out, he rotates it around. It's ready to shoot into our trailer. Now line this up on the edge of our field. Try to turn it on. See how the animations look. Going to lower it down. And it's going to basically pull the corn in, chop it, and shoot it into the trailer. Now since we have crop destruction on, we got to be kind of careful that we don't end up destroying crop. See how this would work. Take a little while to do this field, just a few rows at a time. Your chaff is going up. All right. So let's finish this strip, and then before we get into using the bigger forage harvester, let's look at all this stuff in the shop. I haven't done that yet. See, we're kind of doing maybe what three rows max with this particular header. Make sure we're selected on our trailer. Drop that off. Now let's take a look at all this stuff in the store. So if we go to vehicles, we use the Coon Big M 450 mower to mow the grass. We don't have to use that. We could use any mower we wanted. We're also using the New Holland Forage Harvester. We don't have to use that one. We could use any of the Forage Harvesters that we have. These came with the Class Platinum Expansion. Then if we go over here to Tools, we have Forage Harvester Headers. So this was the front header that we just used. Demonstrate that usage. Requires 150 horsepower. This is the grass pickup header. There is one for the Crone, New Holland. Then we have the mowing header. See, this will actually mow grass, wheat, barley, oats, canola, and soybeans. Got a couple different versions of that header for a couple different brands. And then we have a whole bunch of chaff headers for corn. So this is the one that we have here for our demonstration. So you see they get to be pretty pretty sizable, all the way up to nine meters in width. Then for trailers, you just want to make sure they, they have this chaff icon, all these icons here. For this video, we're going to use the 8600. You can use any of the ones all the way up. You know, we can use these up here if we want. If we've got a powerful enough tractor to pull something that big. Unfold our header. This is obviously going to be able to do a lot more corn than 
that front header that we used. Get this lined up. We're going to do a hired helper. Okay, but it's not going to go anywhere because it needs to be able to shoot the chaff into something. So let's get our trailer. And then just like we did with the poplar video, we're going to run alongside of forage harvester here. Cruise control on. Trying to figure out what speed he's going. The our chaff count is going up. Look at how much corn he is just devouring with each pass. Going to do is we're just going to keep loading our trailer and unloading our trailer into the silage bunker for a few trips at least. Okay, so I'm going to basically break the video here. We're going to come back when we are a bit further along in the process. All right, so I have gone ahead and finished up all of the corn, as you can see, and finished mowing the rest of the grass and picking that up. We've got ourselves quite a pile of chaff here in the bunker now. And while I was doing all this, I was thinking, you know what? I probably should explain why would you want to use grass over corn, or why would you want to use corn over grass? Uh, to do your silage well corn is going to yield the most chaff per field basically so if you want the absolute most chaff possible then you're going to want to use corn if you want to basically not have to plant corn all the time or you want to do multiple harvests without planting then put down grass because grass will grow back corn will not grow back unless you obviously plant it also why would I want to plant a field of grass versus just using what I call map grass or grass that's already on the map well Field grass is going to yield higher because you can fertilize field grass. Map grass you can't fertilize, so it's going to have a lower yield. You also, I didn't realize, I didn't think that I forgot to show you, was if you go to the placeables and silos, this is where I put down that small, the small bunker silo. See, I can put another one right there if I wanted. You also have a medium bunker silo. It's a little bit bigger. A little taller walls. You have a larger silo that's longer. Then you can put down a medium double bunker. Small double, medium double bunker, and a large double bunker silo. Yeah, realized I had failed to mention that. Now, let's see what do we got here. We've got ourselves... 192 liters of chaff in here. 29% compacted. Okay. Let's take a look at how these things work. Got a leveler on the front and a roller on the back. I'll leave the roller off for now. Unfold the leveler. Use our mouse button to lower it up and down, left mouse button and mouse up and down, left mouse button and left and right will tilt it. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to lower it 
almost to the ground. Okay, you see, right before the tractor starts to pick up. Now, when I come in here, I'm basically going to be able to push chaff. It's going to be kind of hard to push, but I can push it. I want to raise it up a little bit more. Let's push it again. Slow down. I want to go slow with this. If the front starts to go up and down, hop up and down, then we want to stop pushing. Okay? We want to back up. We're not going to move the leveler. We're not going to raise it or lower it. We're just going to come at it again. You were pushing pushing the pile. Okay, back up. And again, we're not moving the leveler. We're going to push the pile. Be careful. We don't want this thing to start hopping up and down on us. Now we're starting to go downhill. We're going to back off. What we're basically doing is we're leveling out this mound already. Go at it again. Back up. You can see what we've done. We've pushed this material from the edge toward the middle. Go easy. 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 As we start to kind of like head downhill, we want to back up. Now let's go at it from the other side. Okay, again, I'm not moving the leveler. I haven't raised or lowered it or tilted it at all. And I got our happy place with it. Just a little bit above the ground. Okay, you can see the clearance. And we're just going to back up. I'm at it again. The bigger the tractor you have, the better on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise it up just a hair. What we could also do is let's drop it and we could drive this from the reverse. Okay. Now if we come at it from the reverse, we can raise and lower the three point with the V button. Do that. Now let's raise this back up a little bit. Now remember if we're going backwards, we kinda have to drive backwards. I just raise it up just a hair. And what we want to do is we want to level it now. Once see we're starting to go downhill, we're going to stop. We don't want to push this downhill. What we're what we're getting at is we're going to find at some point this bunker is going to have a max height. Looks like it's pretty high. This bunker probably has a pretty high max height. We're not going to shove it all the way up to the absolute highest hill. Yeah. And we're going to push it, but as soon as we would get to where our tractor starts to go down a hill, we're going to stop. 
you don't want to push this down the hill because what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up pushing the material into two piles. Now I'm stuck. Got to raise this up. All right. We're going to have one menu. We can see we're compacting it while we're pushing it around as we're driving on it. Lower this down again. And I don't want to push it downhill. So this process is going to take a little bit of time. Let's come at it from the other side just once or twice more and then we're going to bring out the roller. A roller is massively heavy. You're going to see when we hook this thing up it's going to squat the tractor down. Raise it up. How much you going to tilt it a little bit? key with this is just make little subtle changes with the blade there's no reason to change the blade constantly key is just to push the pile around get it kind of smoothed out Now, personally, I prefer three-sided silage bunkers as opposed to these silage, um, these two-sided bunkers, because the three-sided bunker has a back wall, and it really makes pushing things up against the back wall a lot easier. Basically, we're starting to find that level that I talked about. Let's drop this off. Hold it up. roller. Now watch when we put this roller on. Roller is super heavy. You want the biggest tractor you have doing this. You want the heaviest tractor you have. Look how heavy this thing is. Roller is nice because it's wide and it's heavy. So we're going to drop this down and we're just going to drive over this calf pile. All we're going to do is just drive over top of it. The act of driving over top of it is going to smooth it out. Push it down. We could use it, we could drive over it without this roller. The roller is just going to make it go a little bit faster. Because it's putting all of that weight across the, almost the whole width of the bunker whereas driving on it without the roller is really just putting weight where the tractors are tractor wheels are Go at it from the other side.
if you had a bunker that had a whole lot of silage in it, you, know, you could be leveling it for a little while, quite some time. Hung up on the side. So if I was putting more material in here, I would basically use the leveler and I would just basically keep making this pile bigger and bigger. It's pretty close to the max height that this bunker is going to allow. And once you get to the max height, you'll know because you won't be able to push it up any higher and it'll start to just flatten out like a tabletop. Once it starts to flatten out like a tabletop, it won't let you push it any higher. That's when you know you're pretty much at the, uh, the bunker's max height. Also, as you are driving it, it's going to squish it out the sides, the front a little bit. Eighty-seven percent. You know, this driving is really squished down this middle of this pile. The four percent. Let's drop our roller off at this point, and we're just going to drive over top of it. Now, where we've driven by where it's not squished down. And as best as I know, there is no minimum fill level. There is some small fill level minimum, but there's no real minimum in 17. There used to be a minimum where I think you had to put it at least 10% of the, of the silo's capacity before you could cover it. But I don't think with 19 there is a minimum. So I saw the compaction level was set to 100. What I want to do is... I want to squeegee, if you will, some of the silage that has kind of seeped out the back here. Back into it. have any escaped chap. Just because um O C D that So we've got a little bit of grass that is that wasn't in the bunker here at the edge. That's that little pile of green not moving. All right, so there we go. We're at 100%, basically. I'm going to fold that up. We're just going to drive over it to get back to 100 
here we go. So once we're at 100, once we have however much silage we want to put in here, either we max it out or we basically are at a point where we feel we have enough, we're going to hit R and we're going to cover it, cover it with a blanket. Got kind of a plastic tarp covering it. And you see it says fermenting silage 1%. So it's going to take, I think, eight game hours to ferment the silage in the base game. So we're going to speed up time. See that silage counter is ticking up. I'm going to go ahead and move into tomorrow because it's, it's going to be... It's going to be dark by the time this gets to 100%. And uh, we're going to uncover it, and we're going to see our silage. All right, so it is 9 a.m. the next morning, and we have fermenting silage 100%. And it says R, open silo. We're going to hit R, and there we go. Now we have 192,000 liters of silage. You can see it is now a darker color. It was kind of a light green. Now it's kind of a brown color and this whole bunker is now full of silage go over here and grab one of our tractors with our front loader bucket see we're going to be able to scoop up some silage now why would you want to make silage this way versus wrapped bales well really comes up to user preference uh, if you want to make a bunch of silage or if you want to sell silage down at the BGA let's talk about talk about doing that so the BGA will buy silage if we have have it to sell you really need to own the BGA in order to do that properly. Now if we scoop this up, we are scooping up silage. And as we drive over the bunker, as we empty the bunker, our plastic is basically going to be pulled away. Here we have our silage. We can take this down to the PGA and sell it if we want. Basically what we would want to do is dump it into here with a bucket, with a um, belt. Let's dump it into here. And then at midnight, only after midnight, will we get paid from the VGA. So we could dump 100,000 liters worth of product in here and it will basically run this little counter down and we will not get paid until midnight and at midnight we'll get so much money in biogas income after we have put silage in over there and after it's had a chance to process it some uh, we'll start getting digestate be able to pull digestate out here and digestate is basically the equivalent of liquid manure or slurry so we would use a applicator like this with digestate and digestate is this icon right here there you go guys that is basically a primer in how to make bulk silage with either grass or corn as basically the raw material and the various ways of getting the corn or the grass up off the field and then into our field not into our field but into our bunker how to compact it how to use the leveler to get some assembly of a 
of a nice level mound in here. Like I said, if we wanted to continue to add product, we would continue to add product in here until we were at a level that we were happy with. Once we cover it with a blanket, it's done. We're not adding any more. And we can't put more chaff in here until we empty this out totally. So if you're feeding this for your cows, it's good to have two. One that you're feeding out of and one that you're putting product into. That way, while you're still feeding this one, you can be adding chaff to this one, leveling it, getting it all ready. And basically, once you're ready to finish this one out, you could blanket this one. Then finish emptying this one. Then once this one's empty, you could uncover this one and then start adding material back into this one. You guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think of this video? Have you tried silage in general? Are you more apt to try silage now? And until next time, happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.